Okay, I'm going to do a few of these homework problems in case you're having some difficulty. You can follow with these. Also, there's a really short video that just shows some examples, some visuals that might help also if you're struggling with it. Okay, 7 eighths plus 1 sixteenths. First of all, we've got to benchmark 7 eighths and 1 sixteenths. So 7 eighths, 7 is very close to 8, so I'd benchmark that at 1 whole plus 1 sixteenth. Remember, when the numerator is much less than the denominator, we benchmark it at 0. 1 plus 0 equals 1. Number 2, 9 tenths. Numerator, really close to the denominator. So we benchmark 9 tenths at 1 whole plus 4 fifths. Numerator, really close to the denominator again, 1 whole. We might make that too. Okay, let me look through here and see if there's any thirds. I know that we had a discussion today on thirds. Let's do 13 real quick. 6 sevenths, that numerator is real close to the denominator. So we're going to benchmark 6 sevenths at one whole. Plus, remember on the thirds, we said that 2 thirds we would benchmark it to one whole, which that should equal to. And if you recall, today we talked about one-third, which was a little difficult. You always benchmark that to one-half. And two-thirds, we would benchmark that to one-half. Those were two that were in question. All right, let's do some with some mixed numbers. Let's go to 16. Six and one-eighth. Well, all we're worried about right now is a fraction. Then we'll put the whole number in with it. So 1 eighth shows us that the numerator is much less than the denominator. Therefore, the fraction part would be benchmarked at 0. But that doesn't mean we can throw the 6 away. We've got to keep it. That just means we're not going to take anything with it. So the 6 goes there. Plus 2 and 9 tenths. Well, let's benchmark 9 tenths. 9 very close to 10, so we would benchmark that at 1 whole. Well, now we combine that by adding the 2 plus 1, which gives us now a 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do number 20. 5 and 8 ninths. I'm going to benchmark 8 ninths to be 1 whole. So 5 plus 1, remember your whole number, would be 6. 3 and 2 thirteenths. The numerator is much less than the denominator. So I'm going to benchmark this part right here, 2 thirteenths, to be 0. So I don't have to add anything. I just bring my 3 over. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Okay, let's scroll down and look at one of the word problems. Um, let's look at 22 and we'll maximize that a little bit. There we go. So let's see what we got. Katrina has seven and one half foot roll of ribbon. She needs two strips of ribbon that each measure three and five six feet long. Does she need more ribbon? Hmm. Well, first of all, we know that she has seven and a half foot roll of ribbon. She needs two strips of ribbon they each measure three and five six feet. Well, there's two of these, right? So three and five six plus three and five six. There's one strip, two strips. Well, let's benchmark these things. Five, six could be benchmarked as one whole. This fraction here. Because the numerator is just one less than the denominator. So that would be four. Benchmark five, six, again, one. And that would be four. So four plus four. Is eight. 
if she's got seven and a half feet roll of ribbon, does she need more ribbon? The answer is yes. Okay, remember that this is an estimation. That's what we're trying to get across here, is to learn how to estimate. And this is a good real life example of how you can do it really quick to see. I would know, whoa, wait a minute, I don't have enough room. Okay, now on the back page there's a puzzle to where you have to do just what we've talked about the past couple of days. What's going to happen is you're going to end up with some answers here. And let me show you an example. Um, for example, on number one, one and three eighths, we would benchmark that to be, and I'm going to write these below. I don't think I have enough room over here. I'm just going to put the answer there. So one and three eighths, I would benchmark that at one and one half because three is almost half of eight. Plus, well, I have two, but my seven eighths would benchmark to one whole, so I'd have a total of three. Now I can put my answer here, which is four and a half. Now what's going to happen is once I answer all of these, I'm going to end up with a bunch of different mixed numbers, or even just whole numbers. I've got to put them in order from least to greatest to answer the question at the bottom. Now, meaning that the least number, whatever letter that that has on it, is what's going to go in the first blank. Okay? So let me get you started with that. Let's go and I'll do number four. Six and two-thirds. Two, we said, Benchmark to 1, so that would equal 7, 6 and 1, minus 5 and 3 fourths. 3 fourths benchmarks to 1, so that would be 6. So 4 is 1. And I'll give you a hint. This is the least number, so you're going to start out with 1. So the first letter in your puzzle is AD. Okay, good luck with that. Uh, just work yourself through it. I will give you one hint. There are no two numbers the same in any of those uh, 13 questions. So if you do come up with one the same, check and make sure that you looked at the addition or subtraction to make sure that you didn't mess up there.